Okay guys, we are back for another video and today is probably one of the most exciting days because look at this. <laughs> the rain has gone and we are going out exploring the island today and I just, I can't wait. We're going to rent a motorbike now and well, go and explore the... the yeah, because we've been told lots of different prices by different people. So we're going to check out the price and then explore the island. And yeah, sorry I'm out of breath, we're going up loads of steps. <laughs> it feels so good to be back on the motorbike. It's a feeling like no other. Although we're currently on some very bumpy <laughs> roads after three years of not being on a motorbike. So keep me safe, sir. So guys, we have made it to our first stop today. We are at Lana's, Lana's Beach, Beach and chill. it's just so nice to be out of the hotel and the drive here was absolutely beautiful. So many palm trees or coconut trees and we were going down this little alley. We were quite lost, but it was just we were so just nice. asking like random people. Literally every person we saw, we were like Lana's Beach and they were like, yeah, keep going, keep going. And then we went too far and they were like, no, the other way, the other way. <laughs> and we got a bit confused, but we're here now. And this beach is actually quite, um, shelly like it's not a soft sand it's like a what do you call that Love. like coral yeah but there's so many palm trees i think it's also it's high tide as well because the sea's quite yeah quite i think forward. <laughs> quite forward <laughs> yeah the sea's quite high up the beach so i don't know if normally maybe it looks a bit different but it's just so nice to be like on an island and having island vibes i'm yeah. just so excited are we gonna get the drone up here yes or? sir let's get the drone up in the sea this will be the first time in like forever that I've put my toes in the sea let's see how cold it is oh that's nice refreshing oh. wow it looks so nice down there I don't know if I've got the right lens to show you how nice it looks down there so the water's a little bit murky, but that could be because of the typhoon. Because um, last night we saw the sea near our hotel. The water was really brown and mucky, and it was because of the typhoon. But then this morning, it's perfectly blue again. I'm just so happy to finally be traveling again after so long. And we've just been planning this for so long. So it's just, I just feel so great that we're finally here and adventuring on the islands. Did you know more people die from a coconut falling on their head than a shark every year? Fun fact. All right, so let's go to the next stop. Para, 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 para. Yes, ma'am. Where to? San Jose Beach, San Jose. please. Sige, sige. Thank you, Pop. Tara.
All right, guys, so we are now at San Jose Beach. It was about 10 minutes, 10 minute bike. I think it was I'd more say. like 20, but. You think? Yeah, it but it was quicker. fun, so that's probably it why fun. it went quick. Oh my god, look at my head. <laughs> we were a bit windswept from the bike. But look at the beach, guys. Just look how amazing that is. It's so blue. We are the only ones here other than the local kids who are just playing and having fun. Like, literally, it's just us it's and just locals. It's an empty beach. Literally. And it's, honestly, it's beautiful. I've never. It's, oh, it's one of my. It's up there with one of my favourite beaches in the Philippines, I think. Do you not think? Yeah, I think so. We've as seen well. a lot of beaches, and this is up there. And, like, it's literally just like Barakai with no one here. The only difference I'd say is the beach isn't quite so, it's a lot smaller, yeah. the actual sand. And um, I think the sand's a bit, it's not as white as the um, the Baraka sand, but it'll do. The water's still blue. I'd say the water is on a par with Baraka. Yeah. And the sand looks nice and soft, let's see. Let's do a little sand test. Whoops. I still think it's beautiful. Just like, look how blue the water is. Oh my god. Oh, that's a lovely Ooh, temperature. Oh, that's warm. Wow. Wow. So nice. So many palm trees as well, isn't it? The water is so warm. Oh, it's still here. This is some of the softest sand. Oh my god. That is like. That is so soft. So soft. That's like. Oh, that, that is really soft sand. Oh, I forgot I don't have any towels. Oh wow. Yeah, we didn't bring a towel. You'll dry off. Alright, this is the reality, guys. Anganda nang beach nato. Tara, langoy tayo. It's warm, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's such a nice temperature. Yeah, it's a perfect temperature. It's like nice and cool, but not freezing. Oh, it's perfect, this beach. You guys so should amazing. definitely. Like, not gonna lie, I prefer this beach than Barakai. Yeah, guys, you should definitely consider this as an option either instead of Barakai or I think you can do day trips here yeah. or you could just do this after your trip in Barakai it's not far it took us 45 minutes to get here from Cataclan I think it'll be closer if you're already in Barakai as well yeah I don't know I've heard like mixed things as to whether you can come straight from Barakai or not but yeah you should definitely put this on your list because this beach is beautiful it's on a par with Barakai I'd say oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's got an ice cream for 12 pesos each. And it's a book of flavor. Coconut. It's like a coconut, yeah. Taste check of the book of ice cream lolly. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Something I've tasted before has tasted like this. Is it like gulama? No. Something from back home. I can't put my thing, finger on what it is. To me, it doesn't taste that coconutty actually. Nice though. Mm. And just what you need at the beach. So hot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Not today, thank you. How old are you? 
Zoe. I'm uh, Vincent. Oh, nice to meet you. You always live here? Yeah. How, yeah. Long, how long stay in Carabao Island? Here, this is last day. Tomorrow last day, we're tomorrow. going back to Cataclan. Mm. Cataclan. Mm. Burakay. Let me get it on. Girlfriend. 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 Mm. Where are you? Sa Aklan. Sa Akalibo? Sa Akalibo. Sa Akalibo. Grabe ang baha ko sa Akalibo. Kali, kita ko nga ni. Hello. <laughs> what was your name again? Uh, Vincent. Ah, uh, and he lives on Carabao Island. Uh, how old hmm? are you from now? Hmm? How old are you from now? How old are you? How old? Yeah. 23. He is a very young. Mm. Me is uh, 48 years old from now. 48? Yeah. It's still looking young. Young. And who's this? Chicken. Has he got a name? Have you named him? No, no name. <laughs> no name. Hey guys, so after our friendly discussion with our uh, new friend, <laughs> um, we've come, it started drizzling. I don't think it will last long because the sky looks pretty clear, clear still. Clear. It's just a bit of drizzle, I think. So we've come to have some lunch at a place called the Island Box. Yep. And we're sat in the outdoor area, which is right along the road and the beach front. It's and nice, it's actually. quite cheap, actually. Yeah. We managed to get. Did you get the same as I've me? I got the same as you. So We've spaghetti. got two combos for 99 pesos, which was spaghetti, chicken, chicken and lemonade. And lemonade. And then we got some spring rolls as yeah. well. And it's quite a quirky little place that I'll show you. Quite nice. So it's nice right on the beach. And there's the little restaurant there. The island box. So hopefully the rain passes soon. Fingers crossed. Mm. I don't think it's going to last long to be honest, it's just a little drizzle. drizzle. But to be fair, it is getting a bit too hot, so we do need a little bit of rain. <laughs> <laughs> as long yeah. as it's not like the past two, three yeah. days, then that'll not be fine. Strong. Yeah. That little doggy. Hi doggy. Hi doggy. Hi doggy. So here's our 99 pesos combo meal, and then we get a lemonade which is just coming. How much is 99 pesos? Maybe like one pound twenty. Yeah, about one twenty, one fifty. So that's decent. So gonna eat this now. Yum yum. Okay guys, so it's been raining for the past hour whilst we were waiting and whilst we've eaten our food. Doesn't look like it's got any lighter, in fact it's got heavier. I don't think it's going to rain all day, I think it will stop. But I think at the moment we'll probably head back to the hotel via the ATM and then see if it stops raining, raining and come out later. Yes sir. What can you do? Okay guys, so we are back in the hotel room. We jumped in the pool and we've had our showers and now we're just going to relax for the rest of the day It started raining outside but ever since when ever since we arrived in the hotel it stopped raining <laughs> Yeah I don't know what's going on But we would have gone back out because the rain has stopped however we've come into a bit of a problem so we the ATM on the island isn't working um, which is fine uh, because they've got what's it called? Palawan. They got Palawan pawn shop. Yeah, where like you that. can normally get cash out. However, the internet was down or something, so they couldn't get any cash out for us. And we always knew coming to the island that there wasn't going to be. We we brought enough cash, but then because we stayed an extra night, and you have to pay for the hotel in cash. Yeah. Um, that's where we then suddenly didn't have enough. So in the motorbike. Is quite expensive to be honest with you. The most expensive rental we've yeah, ever had so, in the um, Philippines. I was like, we need a motorbike for 24 hours, and then they offered a 2,500. Which is insane. Like, we normally pay 350. Yeah, most islands, day. it's three, like the standard is 350 for 24 hours. 
but um, we, I managed to get it down for 1,000 for until the evening, but we didn't really use it till the evening, so hopefully we'll be paying just about 500, pound, uh, 500 pesos. Because we've only used a half day. Yeah, for a couple of hours. Because we're, we're hoping that because of our money situation, because we've, we've not got much cash left, we literally just have enough for maybe dinner tonight and yeah. then to get back to Kataklan tomorrow. So we're hoping that he allows us to only pay half a day. Yeah. Hopefully it should be fine. It should be fine. He did just sweet talk. <laughs> he did. Uh, he did. Say, he did mention about a half, a half day, mm. which was about five hundred pesos. So hopefully it should be fine. Yeah. So. So guys, when you come to Carabao, make sure to bring enough bring money. enough cash. And if you extend, well, you'll probably have the same problem as us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Down below and turn that notification bell on. <laughs> yeah, so you know every time that we post. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Peace. Bye.